Welcome back. In this week's tutorial, I wanted to focus on the sound blocks, the green sound blocks. When you click on the green icon, you'll see there's some different options for sounds. And these are actually sounds that I created. Uh, when you click on this uh, kind of uh, dotted outline microphone, a window pops up. Uh, and if you click the red button, it'll record your voice. Hello there. You click check. And then if I were to attach that, and add that to my story, when I click play. Once there were two brothers walking in the forest at night. Their names were Joe and Schmo. That will include any sounds I record in my story. So this is a nice alternative to speech bubbles. In past, we go to the purple icons, we've relied heavily on using speech bubbles, which are excellent uh, and can be very useful. But you might want to make a story using only sound without any speech bubbles. Uh, so this microphone feature can be very useful. It does come with some sounds, but uh, some, there are some great ways to get some sounds. So one way you can get some sounds is there are actually some websites with free sound effects. So for this uh, tutorial, I actually uh, created some rain sound effects. And if we look at our rain cloud, uh, I did use some of the different uh, blocks that we talked about in other tutorials, like having the rain cloud appear and disappear. Uh, but if here, this green microphone does have the rain cloud make a storm sound. And that's something I got off a sound effects website. So you might want to look around for some fun sound effects that you want to record. You can record them right off your computer, or you can record your voice or a combination of the two. So this sound effects button can be a lot of fun. Uh, see if you can come up with a short story using sound effects. Uh, I did also, you'll see I used the camera effect for these two main characters, taking pictures to put in their faces. And I also included uh, I customized one of their t-shirts by including a picture uh, from the uh, camera as well. Uh, so that is also something fun that you might want to try out as well. Uh, not only can you put your picture in the face, but you can actually customize different parts of the main characters with pictures. Uh, so that is also another fun way you can personalize your stories with your voice and with your own personal pictures. So let's go here and take a look at Joe. So if we click on the paintbrush, right there. Uh, there's your option to customize. And if I want, I can go ahead and click on his pants. And if I click on this bucket here. I can decide to make his pants any color I want. Maybe I want his pants to be blue, right? Uh, and I can actually click on his shirt. I made his shirt blue. But if I click on the camera, I can actually make his shirt appear like anything. If I click on the camera and I click on the shirt, uh, I can actually now use my camera to take a picture of something in this room that I want to show on the shirt. So here I just have uh, a click the camera button and he's gonna have kind of a funny looking shirt. But just to show you, if I wanted to save that, I now would have a photograph on his shirt and you can have a lot of fun with that as well. So uh, those are two fun ways you can personalize your projects, uh, one with the camera feature for the actual characters, and again, using the voice recordings and sound effects. So give it a try, see if you can come up with a story. Uh, let's take a look at my story uh, and uh, see if you can recognize the sound effects and voice recordings inside the story. Once there were two brothers walking in the forest at night. Their names were Joe and Schmo. Suddenly, a giant rain cloud came out of nowhere and the boys got soaking wet. They decided to run home. All right, so that's my short little story. Uh, and I try to uh, show you the different uh, buttons that I used for this story. Uh, a lot of these we talked about in other tutorials, uh, the different features. But specifically for this story, I was focusing on using the 
audio recording to create sound effects and use the microphone to record my voice. Uh, and it is a really fun feature. And see if you can try and create a story using the microphone feature. And also, if you want to go ahead and personalize your characters with your own pictures as well.